Bloodborne has to be the most celebrated exclusive on PlayStation. Fans to this day have been begging for a sequel or a remake. Now, I played Bloodborne back in 2017, and my experience was a blur. Somehow through my playthrough, I hit a hot streak and just blew through the entire game in one sitting. Seeing as I was half awake the entire time, I had to play the game again to get the full experience and to answer one question. Should you play Bloodborne? First, I want to apologize to my viewers. Souls games, including Bloodborne, are games more about lore than story. I can't begin to tell you what any of this game is about. But from my understanding, the city of Yarnum is overrun by beasts. You, as the hunter, have to slay the beast. While doing so, you'll learn more about experiments done on people to achieve some form of evolution. The story, I'm sure, is deeper than I'm explaining it, but that's what I gathered by just enjoying what was obvious. Now, the gameplay... I fully understood. Bloodborne is a very unique action RPG. I say unique because Bloodborne oddly doesn't lean to either its action side or its RPG side. The action side is just like other Souls games. Your attacks are linked to your stamina, meaning you can't attack without getting tired. Pairing is now done with well-timed shots from your gun. And backstabs have changed a bit. Instead of just getting behind the enemy, you need to do a fully charged heavy attack. The biggest addition to the combat is the rally system. In Bloodborne, you basically have no defensive items, meaning you need to master dodging and positioning. However, with the rally system, if you take damage, you can regain health by quickly hitting the enemy again. This makes Bloodborne more fast paced and action focused, but nothing like a hack and slash game it's still an RPG. The RPG side is very simplistic compared to other Souls games. Builds aren't really a thing anymore. Sure, you could pick your favorite weapon and build around it, but that's about it. No matter how you play, everyone will want to invest into the same stats. You will get that feeling of getting stronger, but not that you made a character unique to anyone else, like most RPGs. Upgrading isn't just for your character though. Weapons upgrade by using materials, and you can slot gems into them that change their abilities. Chalice dungeons are the best place to find these gems. These dungeons are mostly randomly generated, and although you don't have to use them, you will be missing out on extra boss fights, weapons, gems, and playtime. Outside of combat, you have exploration. Now, Bloodborne being a game that came out before Elden Ring, Exploring this world is more linear. Think more Metroidvania style gameplay than open world. So you'll have a bunch of different areas that loop back onto themselves and sometimes you'll run into a dead end. It is fun to look up, down, and all over the place to find hidden areas and places where secrets might lay. Again, Bloodborne is a short enough game that I wouldn't beat my head if I don't find every little secret there is possible. Just think of it as another thing you can do on your next playthrough. So, should you play Bloodborne? If you want a straightforward story that's easy to understand, I would obviously say no. The game through lore does allow you to piece things together, but if you don't want to work for it, I'll stay away from this game. If you want to get into the Soul series, but don't want a long experience or a very complex game, then I would say play Bloodborne. Bloodborne is a bit different than other FromSoft Souls games but it is similar enough that you can use it as a starting point. Because the game is more forgiving and has less emphasis on the RPG side, I would say it's the easiest and most accessible game in the Souls genre. Well, accessible outside of one key factor and that's it's only on the PlayStation 4. You can play it on the PS5 like I did, but it's linked to one system. So that part is, yeah, that's, uh, that's just unfortunate. If you want that build variety, or a long experience, Bloodborne would disappoint. Some people, like myself, will love that the game isn't long, making repeat playthroughs easy to jump back into. But I know some people don't play games over again and look for longer experiences. Lastly, if you just don't like Souls games at all, Bloodborne isn't going to be the one to change your mind. For as different as it is, it's still a FromSoft Souls game. 
Bloodborne is a great game and I fully understand why people yearn for a sequel or even a remake. It's easy to get into for the most part and has a lot of replayability. And hopefully one day Sony will finally give us a sequel or at least remake the game and put it on other platforms such as PC. But until that day comes, we'll just have to keep hunting. Good hunting.